Hello friends, in this video uh, we are going to see about Luca sequence. So Luca sequence uh, are constant recursive integer sequences. It is of the form xn is equal to p into xn minus 1 minus q into xn minus 2. So today we will we will be knowing about Fibonacci sequence those uh, and other uh, time, uh, type of sequence which are uh, commonly used for uh, learning programming languages. So Fibonacci sequence is part of a Lucas, Lucas sequence. So uh, Lucas sequence is of the form xn is equal to p into xn minus 1 minus q into xn minus 2. So two um, based on the previous two numbers which are multiplied by some constant factors where p and q are integers uh, the, the current number is formed. This is the kind of Lucas sequence. So other than Fibonacci sequence we will also see about uh, other type of numbers which are formed as a result of Lucas sequence. So uh, we will take uh, first first thing we will take the Fibonacci sequence itself. Uh, so Fibonacci sequence are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8. So 1 plus 1 gives 2, 2 plus 3 gives 5, 5 plus 3 gives, uh, 3 gives 8. So this is Fibonacci sequence. So <coughs> the for example if we take the fifth term, uh, x, we will take the fifth term as x5. So x5 is equal to p into x4 minus q into x3. Uh, so we will we'll find out what are the p and q values for Fibonacci sequence. So for the fifth number in, in this series 1 1 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 is 5. So x5 is equal to 5. So 5 is equal to uh, 4 the previous number is 3 x4 is 3. So 3 into p minus the previous number before 3 is 2. So 5 is equal to 3p minus 2q. Similarly x6 is equal to p into x5 minus q into x4. So 8 is equal to 5p minus 3q. We will solve these two equations. If we solve these two equations, uh, we find out the value of q as minus 1 and p as 1. Therefore, we come to the conclusion that uh, xn is equal to uh, xn minus 1 plus xn minus 2. So this is how the Fibonacci sequence is formed. This is a kind of a Lucas sequence. Other than this Fibonacci sequence, what are the other kind of other things? So Mersenne numbers is there. Mersenne numbers are 1 less than the power of 2. Uh, so, uh, for example, the largest known term in Mersenne numbers is uh, 2 power 82 lakh 589,000 and 933 minus 1. So, <clears throat> this is Mersenne number. <clears throat> this is studied in close connection to perfect numbers. So, perfect numbers are some of its devices. Example of a perfect number is 6. So, 6 has the devices 3, 2 and 1. So 6 is equal to 3 plus 2 plus 1. So this Mersenne numbers is uh, studied in uh, close connection to perfect numbers. <coughs> the In case of the perfect number, the 6 is excluded. That is what is a perfect number is other than itself. So if you see uh, uh, the per, uh, Mersenne numbers, uh, the history of is being shared here. Uh, how the Mersenne numbers based on uh, encyclopedia data, the history is shared here, and uh, it is a it has the Lucas sequence value p and q as three comma two. So uh, how Mersenne numbers are formed as x n is equal to three x minus three into x n minus one mi minus two into x n minus two. This is how uh, Mersenne numbers are formed. So xn is equal to 3 into xn minus 1 minus 2 into xn minus 2. Next, uh, we will see uh, Pell numbers. Pell numbers comprise the denominators of the closest rational approximation to square root of 2. So square root of 2 uh, is like, one, <coughs> for example, 1 by 1. 3 by 2, 7 by 5, 17 by 12, 41 by 29. Here, uh, square root of 2 is 1.414. So, these numbers are considered like 
some close approximations the closest rational approximations to square root of 2 so 1.414 so uh, the rational number the numbers are 1 by 1 3 by 2 7 by 5 17 by 12 41 by 29 so denominators are uh, 1 2 5 12 and 29 so on so if you see this one uh, x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 2 x3 is equal to 5 x4 is equal to 12 x5 is equal to 29 so you will take the third term x3 is equal to 5 and x2 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to uh, 1 x4 is equal to 12 x5 is equal to 29 so 5 is equal to uh, we will in order to find out the p and q value p into 2 minus q into 1 that is equal to 2p minus q uh, so <coughs> that is p into xn minus 1 uh, minus q into xn minus 2 so uh, 5 is equal to 2p minus q uh, similarly 12 is equal to 5p minus 2q uh, that is uh, 5p minus 2q so when we solve these two equations we get the value of q as minus 1 and when we substitute the value of q as minus 1 we get the value of p as 2 therefore uh, we will say that this Pell numbers are formed by 2p plus q so uh, we will see how uh, this, whether this is correct we will verify for one value x5 is equal to 29 so 29 is equal to 2 into x4 plus x3 so 29 is equal to 2 into 12 plus 5 that is equal to 29 so this is verified so formula for Pell numbers is shared here and uh, how the Pell numbers uh, are there that uh, that is it is equal to 0 if n is equal to 0 1 if n is equal to 1 and uh, 2p n minus 2 plus p n minus 2 otherwise uh, all this is the uh, axiom this is the theorem which is conclusion which is found based on the above observation and uh, below i just shared uh, i have written uh, information about golden ratio so if interested i just will uh, share this golden ratios are nothing but if a number is there p by q and that is equal to p plus q by p uh, which satisfies the ratio then, then that is known as a golden ratio uh, the, if you take that golden ratio value as psi then it can be said like it satisfies the equation psi square plus psi plus 1 psi square is equal to psi plus 1 uh, so this is the conclusion of uh, this video thanks a lot for watching